Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my polish pickup wish list. Um, the polish pickup, if you are not aware of what it is, is a website where a ton of indie makers come together. They make polishes based on a theme. Um, the theme this month for October is Villains, and then the shop is open the first Friday through Sunday of the month. So this shop will be open from the 5th to the 7th. Um, and then you pay $3 flat rate shipping, which is awesome because you get to try a lot of different indie makers. I have found indie makers that, and I've bought polish from people I have never even heard of. And I really, really do um, like the concept of it. I think whoever came up with it is a genius because um, it's hard to resist, honestly. The polishes are limited edition for the month. Um, they don't they can't sell them specifically on their sites after the fact or anything. So it's kind of like you get it now or you don't get it. So like I've told you guys before, that is like a big, big problem for me. Like limited editions just really sucker me in. So this month's theme, um, I do like it. And there are polishes I do want, but I just don't feel like there was as many calling out to me as in other months, which is good for me. I did put stuff on my wish list that I did find interesting and unique just to show you guys because um, I feel like there's a lot of polishes and a lot of times I know I miss things and when you guys like leave comments down below I go and look at it and I'm like oh my god how did I miss this and so that's kind of what I'm trying to do here is just show you things that I think are interesting and then also things that I know for sure I'm going to order. So I usually just show pictures on my phone. Um, it's not anything super fancy, but um, let's get into the wish list. I did manage somehow for saying that nothing caught my attention to get like 15 things on my wish list to show you. So let me show you what I got. So the first polish is called um, Alter Ego, or that's the brand. Alter Ego is the brand and it's called My Own Worst Enemy. And this polish is based on Fight Club Tyler Durden. I don't know what that is. But this is a bright pink base with a shimmer that looks like white in the bottle and in certain light flashes blue or purple. And you guys know I love pinks and I just really think this pink looks so, so pretty. Look at that. It's very bright. Um, it does have a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer in it. My lights are kind of messing with this. There you go. Um, look at how pretty that looks. So I do feel like this is off of the season and maybe that's why I'm a little bit not so sure. Like if it were summer, I would probably be like in my cart, no questions asked. But since it's going into fall, I'm a little bit like on the fence. But I think that is a beautiful, beautiful bright pink with a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. Um, and let me see if this has a cap. So this is going for $8 and it doesn't say anything about a cap. So I don't know. Um, what a cap is, is the maker only makes so many polishes for the month. Um, so some are po um, polishes are capped at like, let's say 300 and then some polishes have no cap and, and they don't have a risk of selling out. So that's what that means. If you're not familiar, next polish is very interesting. I think it has a beautiful base color and I think there's a lot going on that is just something I haven't seen. So this is from B Polished. I have never tried that brand before. And this is called Solace in Vengeance. Um, this is based off of Lady Sullivan's Windrunner. I have no idea what that is either. But she describes this as a medium dusty purple hollow base with turquoise shimmer and color shifting flakies. This has a 100 bottle cap on it. And let me show you guys these pictures because I think that they're really interesting looking. I just think that that base color is perfect for fall. It's a very interesting shade of purple because it has like a touch of like a mauve in it. And um, the shimmer and stuff that is in it, flakies and stuff, just looks interesting to me. So I think that that looks like a very fall appropriate polish and I just really think it has a pretty look. Um, the price on that one is $12.50 and the cap on that is $100. So if you are interested in that one, um, you're gonna maybe have to be quick last month stuff had caps in it didn't seem like anything that I thought was gonna sell out sold out so I don't know um, Next one I saw this on Facebook and I sent it to my sister right away and was like OMG this polish is 
gorgeous. This is from Blush Lacquer. It's called You Shall Not Go to the Ball. This is based on like live action Cinderella, I guess. I've never seen that. Um, I do love Cinderella the cartoon. And I may look for this just because it sounds appealing to me. I love my Disney movies and the live versions have not disappointed me so far. So um, I need to check that out. But this is described as a silvery champagne base with shifts of green and gold, multi-chrome flakies that shift gold, green, blue, holographic pigment and hollow flakies. And the inspiration is Kate Blanchett's portrayal of the Wicked Stepmother in the live action Cinderella. So I don't see any cap info on there, so that's good. But look at that picture. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love bling, you know I love sparkle, and I feel like this has tons of bling and sparkle. I just think this looks really, really pretty. It looks like it has sparkle. Um, I like the way the flakies look on it, so I'm that might be a polish I do decide to kind of go for. This is another one that I saw on Facebook and I thought looked very interesting. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this is from Dollish Polish, and it's called Woe Is My Hair Out. And this is based on Hades from a very underrated Disney movie and one of my all-time favorite Hercules. I've never seen that Disney movie. So she's probably right. It is underrated because I love Disney movies and I have never seen that one. So description, a slate blue gray scattered hollow with blue shimmer and chunk. I want to say and chuck full of silver hollow micro glitters and royal cobalt and cerulean blue ultra chrome flakies. She has a 200 bottle cap on this. And I just think this looks really unique. Um, it's kind of showing up a little bit purple on camera. It looks more blue on my phone, but that looks like a very unique, interesting polish, very pretty. Um, so another one to kind of debate. Um, this next polish, I don't know what to think about it. It looks interesting, it looks fun. It's called Fair Maiden, The Countess. And this is based off of American Horror Story, play, um, The Countess played by Lady, Lady Gaga. I don't watch that show, so I don't know, but um, it says here, Countess's a versatile polish, can be used in one thin layer as a top coat, builds to opacity for truly dramatic nail glitz. You know I love nail glitz. So it says you can expect the formula to be a touch thicker because it's packed with a multitude of effects pigments, including color changing flaky, silver glass flex, scattered hollow pigment. Um, so this is another one that looks just really sparkly and pretty. But I don't know if it's like lighting and then I'm going to get it home and be like, mm. you know, so it's kind of a little bit difficult for me. Here she shows it as a topper over something else too. Um, look at it over the black. So that looks really pretty and it seems very, very interesting. But I've ordered a, like maybe one other polish like this and then when I got it home I was like, this doesn't look like what I saw. When you put it under lights, I mean of course it does, but you know, just to wear around it's kind of like not my style. It doesn't stand out, out um, it doesn't stand out enough without the lights. So I'm torn on this one as well. It's $11 and there's no cap. So I love Lady Gaga too. So I don't know, but I think that's just one of those polishes that could go either way. Like, of course, these bloggers make the polishes look amazing. That's why they're polished bloggers. And that's why they're picked to, you know, promote the polishes. And when you get it home, sometimes you're just like, this isn't what I was expecting at all. And you're kind of bummed out. So I don't know. Next one is from Great Lakes Lacquer. I have never tried Great Lakes Lacquer, but I always see a ton of like beautiful swatches from them. And maybe this will be the month I like try some Great Lakes Lacquer. So this is called Losing Hope and Forgetting Dreams. It's going to be $13 and it's based on the nothing from the never ending story. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hate that freaking movie. Hate it with a passion. Um, when my husband first got married, he actually bought that for the kids to watch. And I was like, why? It's just long and boring. And like the never ending part of the name is so correct. Like it just goes on and on and on in boringness. If you guys like it, I'm sorry, but ugh, I hate that movie. And then that thing that he rides, I don't even know what it is. It's like kind of scary when I was little. I just, I do not like that movie at all. It also reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. I like watched, um, 
I watched the first one of that and like it just went on and on and on and then like at the end like you get no closure and I'm like I just lost like three hours of my life that I will never get back I feel that way about this never-ending story movie too but the polish is very pretty um so this says a glowing sparkly multi-chrome including aurora shimmer shifting from azure azure to orchid to fuchsia to sunset orange finishing with a slight lime flare um i don't see anything about a cap here so i have some multi-chromes but i feel like this um like spectrum of the multi-chrome i don't have a lot of i have more of like the purple to green type colors if that makes sense to you guys and I don't have a ton of like this type of spectrum but this is really really pretty I mean look at those pictures I feel like my phone is getting totally washed out by my lighting but um like look at that that looks beautiful but multi-chromes are another one where sometimes like you get them and you're just you don't get it like the effect just does not come across on my nails the way I'm seeing it here and then I'm bummed so I don't know next up is from KB shimmer you guys this polish is so interesting um it's a color change polish I have never seen anything like it it's called resting witch face you guys I love that freaking name because everyone tells me that I have like a mad looking face and people at work actually tease me about having RBF um resting bitch face sorry kylie my niece always gives me a hard time when i you know but so the name is funny to me which i mean i love it and um this is based off i believe the witch on the wizard of oz yeah wicked witch of the west wizard of oz and i don't see anything here about a cap it's gonna be 11 dollars. so she says i'm not reading the whole thing because it's really long an iconic look with her green skin and black apparel the wicked witch was the perfect inspiration for this month's polish pickup shade we started with a hollow lime green glitter when cold the glitter sparkle and pop against the black and thermal base when warm this shade is a shaft this shade is a soft green with the glitters commanding attention. The shade is semi-textured and will need a thick coat of clearly on top or a top coat for a smooth glossy finish. She does mention here about thermal polishes having a shelf life of 6 to 12 months. That is one reason I do avoid thermals sometimes. But this is so interesting. I mean, look at that, you guys. I have never seen anything like this. It does remind me of The Wizard of Oz. I loved that movie when I was little. Um... The witch did always scare me and the monkeys, those flying monkeys were scary. But a very nice movie. So look how cool that looks. I think if you're like very into polish collecting like I am, you like to find things that are interesting. And I feel like this is super interesting, super unique. So I don't know. But you know how I feel about those color changes. I don't have very many just because I don't want them to not work. Next one is from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. It's called Your Name Belongs to Me Now. And um, it's going to be $12.50. And this is inspired by Yubaba from Spirited Away. I don't know what that is either. Medium navy leaning blue that suspends red green aurora pigment, rust red green shifty multi-chrome shimmer, and holographic flakies. Um, I just think this is a really beautiful base color and I like this stuff that she added into it. it just looks really fun I love these types of like blues and I really do like them in the fall and since I'm in like a fall polish frame of mind right now um, this is really pretty so it's probably not one I'll get but I did think it was very very pretty so I decided I wanted to show it to you guys Next up is one I think I'm going to get. So this is called Nail Hoop Magic Dance. Um, it's $8.99. I don't see anything about a cap. This is based off Jareth, who's David Bowie from the movie Labyrinth. You guys, that movie used to freak me out when I was little. My cousin used to love scary movies. And this movie isn't even scary. I mean, it like pretty much is a kid movie, but like there's like these... I don't know what they are goblins or something but they take their heads off and they like juggle them around in the movie oh my god I used to hate that and my cousin would want to watch it and I would be like no I don't want to watch it I'm scared and he would like make fun of me for being scared I was scared of a lot of things when I was small you guys the move the tv show Alf hated Alf my sister loved that show Alf would creep me out 
Howie the Duck, I think that was the name of that movie, is like a stupid duck, like, I don't know, like a duck puppet or like a Muppet with like regular people. That used to scare the crap out of me. My sister loved that stupid movie and I would always be like, oh, I do not want to watch it. And if you can believe this, I used to watch Fraggle Rock, but when the Fraggles were old, it would creep me out. Like I hated old Fraggles. So as you can tell, I have like a ton of issues and I'm basically a big scaredy cat. But um, I just really think this polish is so pretty. But that movie, Labyrinth, hated it. Um, so this says a beautiful black polish is stuffed to the brim with super blingy, totally sparkly glitter that glistens and dances off your fingertips. You know how I feel about glitter and sparkle. Um, I'm totally on board for that. And I think this has an interesting base color because it's kind of looks like a brown. So on the um, light here, it's looking black. But when you get on the Polish Pickup site, you will definitely see, I think, a hint of brown. And this is super interesting to my collection because I don't have anything that looks like this. Maybe in this light, you can see a little better. Um, and then the price is good. It's only $8.99. I've never tried nail hoop before. That little owl on the bottle looks super cute. Um, you guys know I like cute bottles too, so that's probably one I will end up getting. I don't know if I'm going to get this or not, but I think it's so cute. It is a little charm, and it says fairest of them all um, from Snow White, and it's like a mirror. Oh, this phone is bugging me. So there you can kind of see it. It says fairest of them all, and it has that thing. I might get it just because I think it's cute, but I don't know. Not sure. Um, next up is like one of my new favorite brands ever. I've been kind of raving about this brand a little bit lately. Polished for Days Little Sea Spies. This is based off the eels on the Little Mermaid. Um, Flotsam and Jetsam. I love that movie too, you guys. Little Mermaid. Oh, love. So this is a teal base with pink, blue, aqua, shifting, iridescent flakies. Pink, pink to green, shifting, iridescent micro flakies and micro holographic flakies. So I have ordered the polish pickup polishes um, from Polish for Days three times and they have all been amazing. So I think I'm gonna get this just because they haven't let me down so far. Look how pretty that is. And I was actually looking at the Polish for Days fall collection too and I was like, oh, I wanna order all these polishes, but I had restraint, I didn't do it, but I did wanna do it. Look how pretty. So I think I'm gonna get this one just because the one I put on last from last month, oh my gosh, you guys, it was amazing, it was gorgeous. One of the most beautiful polishes I've worn in a very, very long time. The cute and the um, cute as a button that came in. I just got that the other day. I had that on my other video. Um, looks super, super pretty too, so I'll probably be wearing that sometime soon. And this just looks really, really pretty, so I'm probably gonna get it. Plus I love The Little Mermaid. This polish is very, very unique and interesting. This is from Stella Chroma. I do not own any of that brand. It's called Playing With My Emotions Smoky. It is based off Big Worm from Friday. You guys, I love that movie. That movie was real big when I was in high school. And um, I just really like it. I think it's super funny. I didn't realize that was the inspiration. Now that I read it, I'm like, hmm. But it's um, Big Worm in a Bottle. So orange like his beloved Impala. Filled with green, blue, purple UCC flakies like his excellent 90s polo shirts. And lots of teal green iridescent flakies and shimmer. Why? Because Big Worm likes green. Oh, this is such a fun inspiration. I like it. So, um... So it's orange like the car he drives in the movie, the Impala. So I live in New Mexico and lowriders are like a really, really big deal in my town. Um, tons of people have them. They like take them out on the weekends and you can like go out on the weekend and just see all these like really, really beautiful cars driving around. And Impalas are super popular for lowriders. So that's, a, that's like a really cute inspiration. I really like it. I just don't know if this color is for me like for my skin tone but it seems like it would be a good halloween polish which i told you guys i like because the green flakies and then the orange base just really do um kind of remind me of halloween 
but this looks like a tough color to wear for my skin tone but it has a fun inspiration that's so cute i really like that next up this is another one i might be getting i saw this on facebook and i just it's calling to me because it's so blingy but then i watched um juanita bonita's swatching and she had this polish and i don't know if i like it as much i don't know if i liked it as much on camera as i liked it in the photos so the camera is probably more accurate at showing it so maybe it's not as good as i'm making it out to be but this is top shelf lacquer coat of many um there's nothing about a cap here it's based on cruella de vil from 101 dalmatians my oldest son used to love that movie when he was little a rich rose gold full coverage in two to three coats micro glitter with lots of hollow bling and rainbows that shine through you guys know i love my hollow bling and then look at that picture it looks beautiful so just based on how i feel about bling and hollowy goodness i may get this um the price is 13 dollars, and it just looks like so so sparkly and good like look at that beautiful i'm on the fence if i would have never seen the video i probably would have ordered it but since i've seen the video i'm kind of i don't know and then the final polish on my freaking wish list i feel like someone answered my prayers someone just knew exactly what i needed and gave it to me and made it for me and i'm so excited so this is from zombie claw polish i teased you guys about this in the last video saying like if you've watched my channel for a while you know which polish i'm getting no matter what and this is it so this is called welcome to the dark side it is based off darth vader from star wars oh my gosh you guys know how i feel about star wars and if you have new to my channel you don't know star wars is like my favorite movies of all time i have seen every star wars multiple times um if i made polish i would make a star wars collection of polish i feel like there's not enough star wars um in the polish world so i'm super 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 excited for this um so this polish does not have a cap it says a black base with violet pink copper red multi-chrome pigment and red blue and silver flakies Oh, it does have a cap, 200 bottles. So I better get on the ball and get it because I, so this is showing it matte. I need this in my life, you guys. This polish will be in my cart just because of the name alone um, and just because of who it's based on. Look how pretty that is though. They should have a whole month of just Star Wars as the theme and everyone has to make a Star Wars polish and then I would go broke. But, um, there's another one. I am for sure getting this because I have to. I feel like this polish was specifically made for me in mind because Star Wars is the greatest ever. So... That is all for my polish pickup wish list. Um, so I feel like all of my videos were hitting like back to back to back. So you guys are probably going to be tired of seeing me by the time this week is over. I have one more video that I'm hoping to get out this week. Um, and then I probably won't have anything to talk to you about like for the rest of the month because I'll have just like talked about everything. Everything just hit at once and I want to talk about what I want to talk about. So I wanted to get this to you guys a little bit early so that you can... Um, Look at what I like. I don't know if I influence anybody at all, but these are the ones that I think look interesting. And also in the comments, like I always ask you guys, please tell me what you're looking at because I feel like there's so much polish that I just miss things. And there are times that you guys have like left a comment and I go look at it and then I order it. So please let me know what you're looking at because you guys help me get my cart ready and um maybe i help you get your cart ready so i wanted to give you guys um a few days to kind of watch this video before the store goes live so this had to go out today and then um like i say i have one more i'm hoping to get out this week so hopefully you all aren't tired of seeing me yet but um i hope you guys like this video if you do please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and thanks you guys for watching i will see you in the next video have a good night bye